Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you just watched my makeup haul, then obviously this would make more sense because now you're here right after that one. But in this video, I'm gonna be trying a lot of the products that I purchased in my haul. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first product I wanna try is the Milk Makeup. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. And I've kind of seen this all over and I was really excited because I'm, as much as I have a bunch of primers and setting sprays, I don't know if I'm a firm believer in them. And so if I can find something that actually like works and makes me kind of believe in them that would be kind of fantastic so I don't have a mirror in my hand so I'm using my viewfinder so don't mind me I will say I like the gel and like kind of thick texture that this has it feels nice for sure uh don't mind my face getting red my face is already crazy sensitive and more times than not whenever I apply things like with my hands like primers and stuff I tend to Ooh, it is very grippy so I don't have a foundation to try so I am just gonna grab one of my like everyday go-to foundations that I've been using and it's actually already from Sephora and I will be using the Bobbi Brown this is just the skin foundation SPF 15 in the shade CN2 so I'm gonna do foundation I'll be right back so I have that base on and I was too lazy to go wet my beauty blender so I used a brush and I don't love how it looks but I'm not going anywhere and it's already 11 o'clock at night so as soon as I get done filming this I'm gonna wash it all off but I do feel like the primer I don't know because I don't normally use a brush I normally just use a wet beauty blender so putting the primer on I like it next I'm gonna try this sample just because it's a big sample this is the Clinique Beyond Perfect foundation and concealer and this is in shade 01 ivory so I mean this looks a little bit dark for my concealer but I've also been kind of doing that concealer where like it's not as bright it's more oh this is a little orange mm, I don't know I'll have to blend this out like obviously I didn't really get a choice of what they sent me but I'm gonna try it again I'm just using, I'm using a dry beauty blender this is how you know I'm just kind of tired I mean it's working though so I'm not mad about it I will say if this was a little bit lighter the coverage is pretty solid I don't mind that at all you know what I'm gonna try wetting the beauty blender with a little bit of this glow recipe watermelon mist because the next two products that we have are the Fenty Beauty bronzer and blush now I think this blush is gonna be crazy dark on me because I accidentally ordered the wrong shade but I also think that they were out of a lot of shades so I was trying to like find something that would work so this is shade butter biscuit and I'm gonna attempt it I think this is a really old school real techniques brush I'm not really sure what this is I'm gonna kind of apply it with that and then buff it out with the beauty blender it doesn't have a smell at all so I'm gonna just Okay, it's intense. It's intense. It's intense, but don't mind it as long as it blends well, which from the reviews that I've seen of it, it does. So I'm just gonna keep applying this where I would normally apply bronzer. And then after that, we will blend it out. The only scary thing is, is I'm afraid that it might not be as forgiving as I want it to be like it'll kind of set instead of me being able to blend it like I would want I guess so I'm just taking this oh it's kind of damp now since I sprayed it okay um what like okay let me spray this a little bit more but my chin buffed out beautifully so that's exciting my face is so disproportionate in color because my foundation is too light but i love the coverage and look of it but because i've been like laying out and getting tan like everything's just kind of off but um hello or this bronzer is fantastic love this formula so now i'm really sad because that means that the formula of the blush is gonna be really good but i'm not really gonna be able to use it we're gonna try it anyways just because like why not so i already have a makeup wipe here let's just kind of i really liked applying with this brush let's take this blush this brush and dab into this blush i'm just gonna Ooh, actually mm, i don't know i'm very borderline oh that's intense i'm gonna be very light-handed with this now i'll be looking like a straight up clown but let's see i'm gonna spray this a little bit more if i just got up and wet this i wouldn't have to go through all these extra steps but that just sounds like a lot of work right now and i'm feeling extra lazy so but i wanted to play with some makeup uh, i kind of want to add some more i actually really like this color and it blended out pretty freaking nice what it looks magenta 
It looks magenta. It looks purple. It looks kind of dark pink. But like, first of all, I'm in love with this formula. So I want to buy like more of these blushes. But in like other shades, obviously, I'm into it very into it love this too and i'm not really a cream product type of gal so i don't have a setting powder that's new so i think i'm just gonna go with my old school go-to because i know you can get i know that i shouldn't be using this but i want to get it finished because i'm like a mm, little less than half this is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. Doesn't have a shade name. I normally use my Jeffree Star, but I'm sticking with like more Sephora branded product to go with the video. And then the lip balm that I've had on is still that Boxum Lip Plumping Balm in Big O. So that's what is on my lips right now. Doesn't go on very pink, but it looks kind of pink now. I just switched the battery, so I'm sorry if anything looks different. It shouldn't, but it might. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush from BH. I did throw on a little bit of the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Again, I wanted to get a wear product that was at Sephora. Because I don't have any other Sephora highlighters, oddly enough. I have a lot of drugstore highlighters. And then I also have, like, my Jeffree Star highlighters. But I, as much as I don't want to support Too Faced anymore, I actually kind of enjoy that highlighter. And I haven't used it in a very long time. So, I'm debating between the Norvina palette, the Rihanna palette, and the Milk Cosmetics palette. I think we're gonna go with Norvina just because I'm basic. I was gonna use the new Norvina palette, the volume four, but I wanna save it for like its own moment because I feel like it deserves its own moment. So I'll probably be making a video on that. So I'm saving that one. And as much as I'm excited to try that Milk Cosmetics palette, I kind of want to not do another green look right now just because like one of my like more recent looks was my St. Patty's Day one just because I don't do enough makeup videos as I want. But I also want to branch out and not only do that. So, so yeah, we're going to try the Norvina palette. The OG, I guess, before they got like huge and or mini so a plus plus so oh another little brush i do i do enjoy the little brushes that they come with they're cute but the first color i obviously want to dip into is base and it is this nice cream shadow here i'll take the little brush and dip into it and i'm just gonna kind of put that as my base very fitting name for the shade next i think i'm gonna dip into a little bit of eccentric which is this more i don't know caramely brown down here i'm just gonna take the same brush i'm just gonna put this in my crease Ooh, she's a little darker than I thought. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a, a caramely color and it's more of like a between a caramel and a chocolate brown, I would say. So that is a nice just crease color. Super into it, liking it. Neck, I think I wanna take, uh, do I? Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of passion, which is this burgundy brown down here. I'll just take the other side of the brush and take that and kind of pack that on my outer corners very gently because I don't want it to be too intense, but I also like want it to be there, you know? Yeah, and I can't get over the fact that this is velvet, but then again, so is my Jeffree Star Bloodlust and like, I don't know, I'm all about like aesthetics and I just love the aesthetic of it. Now I'm going to just kind of blend that out. So, yeah, I like how that looks so far. Very nice nice next i kind of want to yeah i think what i want to do is take a little bit of this rosy shade called love and i'm going to kind of put that on the inner corners of my eyes like throughout like to the about the middle yeah that is such a nice mauvey pink shade and it blends into the purple very well i do feel like it has the smallest bit bit of shimmer but with what i'm planning on going for like i kind of feel like that would work for me kind of blending it also into those browns i will say kind of making my green eyes pop and i love that so what I think I want to do is I want to take a little bit of, yeah, I'm going to do it. Take a little bit of this shade, this metallic shade, rose gold. I would say almost purpley, but a little bit pinky, a little bit of brownie. Kind of just a good mix of colors. And I'm going to try to pack, first I'm going to pack it dry. So I always want to try to give everything kind of like a fair chance to see what it can do without additional products. And I'm going to pack that. It's definitely doing something. Oh, 
okay, yes. I don't know if I'll need. And then I kind of stopped about, I don't know, halfway in the pan. It is so crazy soft though. But I mean, I'm not surprised because it is like a metallic slash glitter. So I mean, that's kind of what I would expect out of it. This can definitely be built up. I can tell like you could add some setting spray and like, holy cow. But I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to give it its own moment. So this is kind of what we're working with. It needs some blending. Blending. It needs some blending for sure. And so I'm just going to blend these outer corners. Again, like I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, but I don't want to look a complete hot mess. Yeah, digging this palette for sure. I just need to, I did have a little bit of fallout, which I feel like is pretty normal. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Dreamer, which is this metallic on the end here, which is like a nice, very light champagne-y shade. And that's going to be my inner corner and brow bone. Oh, love this shade. What I would normally probably do is take this and put this on, either on the inside or the very center of my lid just for that pop. But I think that we need a little bit under the lash line and i think i kind of want to take that pinky mauve shade love yeah i like that very pinky i'm actually not hating this look so i don't have any new brow products which i'm not actually been i haven't been using any brow products lately anyways just because like my brows are kind of out of hand and i've just been kind of shaving them and cutting them so i just kind of brush them if i do anything it might do like a clear brow gel but I feel like it's not necessarily needed right now, but I'm pretty into that. I will, I guess, go ahead and use a little bit of Better Than Sex. Let's use this one. This is just a sample, just the Better Than Sex normal. I'm gonna use this one. I don't know if this is even good anymore. I don't know if this is dried out or not because it's just a little sample that I've had for a little bit. Oh no, there's still. If I were to use this mascara, I would use my waterproof formula of this but i'm getting ready to go to bed after this so when i first got into makeup i was and i went to bare minerals and i exclusively used their makeup products and then when i started going to sephora my sister introduced me to the Too faced bronzer and that's when i kind of like went ham on the Too faced products and i have a decent amount of theirs and i don't hate it but i just hate them as a company and i hate what they've done in the past and i yeah so it sucks because like the products are pretty decent but i like don't want to support them so yeah i mean my mascara doesn't look bad and if you'd saw my haul my last video i got a full size of one of those and it doesn't look bad so the last product that we have would be lip and i kind of want to try this huda beauty lip balm this was in shade seductress i just kind of want to see how it feels on my lip more than anything i guess i mean it's so beautiful Ooh, it's actually a lot softer than i thought and very sparkly it doesn't it doesn't smell good it reminds me of my dance days of like hairspray and dance costumes and glitter so i'm not in love with the smell and the sheen is pretty nice but like i feel like i don't know if you can see this but the very tip the glitter like kind of wore off fast so hopefully the glitter from the sides will help put the sheen on like if it's just a lip balm i'm okay with that and that's kind of what i thought it was but this is our finished look i've got to say i already knew i'd like this palette because it had a lot of good neutrals in it love these fenty products like these are so good and i'm actually really pleasantly surprised on this blush because it looks so dark but it actually worked really nice lip balm was okay not really sure about the primer i feel like i'd have to try it a few more times to see if i really like it or not this concealer um let's see it definitely creased a little bit but it could also be that setting powder but this shade is just not necessarily my shade i would probably not use it under my eyes i would use it for more of like a conceal like any acne or extra i needed what else did we try i think that's it so overall like not necessarily mad at this look but i this isn't my favorite i would want to use a different foundation which is not any of these products fall it's me using the wrong shade but yeah i i enjoy this and i have so much stuff i have more skincare than i do makeup for this particular haul at least and 
yeah, there's a lot for me to try out. I still want to do a dedicated video to the Norvina Volume 4 palette. So that'll be coming. And then I have other hauls and stuff coming. So stay tuned for all of that. But I think that's it for today, guys. So like this video, comment any other future videos I Ideas that you have down below all my socials are linked down below turn that bell on because we have more hauls and more videos coming but that's all i've got for this one guys till next time